What's up guys, it's Austin here and welcome back to a new video. So as you can probably tell, I'm in an entirely different location. Um, that's because I'm currently in Taiwan. So yeah, it starts at 9, so right now it's like 9, 10, 9, 20, so more cars are rolling in and so let's see what we got. I know the visibility here isn't the best because well apparently the lights aren't working and it's kind of later at night. Right off the bat we already have a couple AMG GTs. See so we have a couple M3 and M4s and we have a Brabus GT63. All right we also got a C63 here and uh my wish. Right here we got a GTR in yellow. I don't think I've ever seen a GTR in this color before like this specific color. Seems like they also changed our rims too, which is like pretty unique, not gonna lie. So right across this yellow GTR is a 992 GT3 RS. Although I've seen a fair share of 992 GT3 RSs in like Porsche Santa Clarita, but this one's so cool, honestly. I think it does have the Waysack package. Apparently it also has the gold rims as well, which is really cool. We also have a GT4 GTS. We also got this 911 Carrera S. And look at the front, it looks so aggressive. We got this Aston Martin Vantage over here, which looks pretty nice. Right across this 911 Carrera, we got this 997, super clean and white. All right, and then right next to it, we have an 86. And right over here, we got Patrick's Aventador SV. And SVJ has just rolled in, so cool. While most people are looking at the SVJ, check out the SV. Like I actually been in it before. Cute in the video. So uh, yeah, although the lighting right here is pretty bad, but this color is like pretty insane. And right beside the SV, we got Rico's C63 wagon with the uh, VTuber decal. I have no idea what this VTuber is, but it seems pretty cool. And then right over here, we also got this 296 GT3. Thanks for the lighting, but as you can see, the blue looks really, really nice. And then right here, we have that SVJ in uh, olive green. Kind of looks like Oxford green, but with a darker shade. So, hey, that's really cool. Compared to the SV that's parked across, Patrick's SV, the SVG is like significantly more aggressive, especially at the rear. Like as you can see, the wing, the rear wing is like more aggressive and I think it's still full stock. I don't think he changed or maybe he did change the exhaust. I'm not exactly sure. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for the cars that are in that main section. Um, there seems to be more cars right here over here and like there's another section down below. So let's go check it out. All right, so right here we already got Johnny's X7. We also have a Taycan over here and a 4A8, but this 4A8 is kind of different it has a two-tone gradient color which is so cool it's a white and purple a pinkish gradient this looks really nice right here we got a uh, amg gt and an m3 this next section we have this entire row of honda fits for some reason okay so it's around like 10 30 now so that's why a lot of people are leaving and finally the first e46 3 series so i pretty much covered most of the cars that are here today for some reason, it seems like there's another event with, you know, hatches. That's why you see so many of these cars around here. But yeah, I guess that concludes this event. And I'll see you guys in the next one. One eternity later. All right, so fast forward a month. Yes, actually a month. I recently got my license here in Taiwan, haha. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, yeah, I'm now, this is my first time actually driving to a meet. It's not really a meet actually, it's, it's more like an event. It's hosted by my friend Patrick. And let's see what they got. So I'm at the events right now and check out this insane line. I'm like, oh my God, there's so many cars. Like all the cars that are on his channel is present here, especially this uh, Evo wagon. Starting off with Rico CL55, like Zagato edition. And the interior is actually insane, like wow. And then look at the front. The front looks pretty amazing as well. Like wow, this is this is really cool. And next up is also Rico's C63 AMG Estates. Um, it's the wagon edition with the uh, aqua uh, livery the whole live aqua livery. And right here we have Patrick's C63 AMG 507 edition. It used to have like the uh, Japanese police livery, um, but yeah, he took it out. It looks pretty clean, honestly, with like a like blank, no livery style. I'm not sure what he's gonna add in the near future, but uh, wow, this 
hood bonnets, grills are actually insane. And then looking at the back, we also have like a duck lip uh, spoiler with DVDS exhaust, which is pretty cool. All right, and next off we have this E63 AMG, which looks pretty cool. And on this side, I think this is the C55 or CO something, 550. I'm not exactly sure of the model. And this is like an old S-Class over here. I really love the old design language of these old S-Classes. Not sure if this is actually the hammer. I'm not exactly sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Next up, we have this My Back Brabus Edition. This looks super, super cool. It's pretty much like a limousine at this point. It's like, it's so long. Look at its length compared to this E92 M3. It's really funny because it looks, the E92 looks really small compared to, to this. And right here we have the GT63S, but with a Brabus uh, body kit on it, which is pretty cool. And then right next to it, we have a covered CGT. I'm not exactly sure why it's covered. And then right here we have this old Porsche parked right next to McLaren Senna. And then right over here, we also have Patrick's SV, which was also present in the previous events. I've actually been on it, so wow. It's cool that's here. All right, coming back to the Senna because look at this huge rear wing. It's actually so incredible. Like look at the carbon fiber weave. It looks so smooth and so, wow. It's pretty elegant, not gonna lie. And then contrasting with the huge wing of the old Porsche, like, wow. This is crazy. And next up, we also have this SLS in matte gray. I think I've seen a couple SLSs before, but not in this color. And then followed by this SLS in Patrick's C63 AMG Black Series. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen this one in person before. So I know Patrick is a huge fanatic of the C63s. He, I I'm pretty sure he has the base model uh, W204 C63 MG. He has the wagon version, he has the 507. And of course, to complete the puzzle, he has the Black Series with the enhanced body kit, the wing, and the wide, like, you know, wide arches and stuff. Wow, this looks really, really cool. All right, so part right next to the Black Series is the CLK 65, which is already pretty cool by itself. But check out what's part right next to it. This is this SL65 Black Series. Holy crap, I've never seen this car in person before, especially with this finish. Like, if you look up close, it's not this regular matte gray. It's this weaved... I don't even know what this is, like this weaved pattern. I can't really... It's really hard to explain in words. So, of course, this comes with the B12, but look at this insane body kit. Wow. This is this is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. Of course, right over here, we have this SLS Brabus edition. Wow, this is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen an SLS with the Brabus body kit on it. And of course, we have a couple JDMs right here. We have this Mark IV Supra in blue, super cool. We also have this uh, 8.6 over here without the tofu livery, but it's the actual 8.6. So, wow, the 4 AGE. Over here we also have this S14, which I'm not even sure if it works or not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it drives, kinda. Of course, last but not least, we have Patrick's five-door Evo. It's an Evo wagon, pretty much. So this is not your average Evo. If you look closely inside, check this out. I'm not sure if, it, if you can see it on screen, but holy crap. It's a sequential manual. And what's really interesting is that this car has just been shipped from Japan, literally imported here a couple days ago. It was literally at the dockyard like two days ago, which is like pretty insane. Parked outside, we also have this GR Yaris right here, which isn't sold in the US. We also have this bright yellow 458 right here. All right, so I think I covered all the cars that are in this show right now. So let me hurry up and get some B-roll and some photos. Uh, before time runs out, I guess.
it's Johnny. I haven't seen this jacket in ages. Holy crap. What's up? I'm like half dead now. I need to go to sleep. Oh my god. Let me hurry up and get some B roll and some photos. Hello. <laughs> this is this is pretty amazing, not gonna lie.